Persian kings, heave away, haul away, haul away, you'll hear me. With that old sea shanty, class is in session. Hand over hand. Their assignment is written on the sails. The lessons come from the river. Roll! Hold on to it, lean into it. And the students are fifth graders from Hyde Park, New York. You guys are animals. Ah, success. And for the rest of the morning, they would try and succeed again. No, dear, that, yeah. this way is south. Oh, wow! Ooh, ooh! And in the process, children are learning the issues of the earth. What causes acid rain? It's are we tiny. part of a food chain? Yes. You think there's any sewage in here? What else gets dumped in the river? Brian Forrest is an education specialist and crew member on the Clearwater. Bacteria loves to eat sewage. I'm pretty fun to imagine, huh? And you know what the bacteria that eats sewage has for dessert? Oxygen. You'd be surprised at how many adults have no idea where their garbage goes, uh, the connections between things. And that's one of the things that is a real goal of mine, I think, is to help people understand cause and effect and what happens when we put something out there in the universe. It's incredible, Ken. He's hard to see. There it goes. So if the back of the boat goes this way, which way does the front of the boat go? All right. The Clearwater is using the sciences to steer people on the right course, and that is a direction toward conservation and preservation, and something we're all learning to be, and that is ecology-minded. If you don't stop polluting, the water's going to get all dirty and you won't have anything to drink. Kill all the fish in the river. I knew it was getting polluted, but I didn't realize how bad it was. People see Clearwater as a symbol and understand that uh, we're all part of something together. We just pollute the river. All our water that we get from this river can't be able to drink. We might have enough water left. And if one child realizes that, the purpose of this field trip is clear. Now, do you think the river can speak for itself? No. no. So we've got to become its friends and then become its voice and speak out for it. And if people learn more about it, become more familiar with it, then they can certainly do that job.